Hey guys, I'm on a training ride. It is hot. It's gonna be 90 today. I'm just taking a break at a park stop. I'm about nine, 10 miles in. I'm gonna get a rash. I need water. I got off a little, here, we'll do this. I got off a little late today, so I was trying to get out very early to miss the heat, but that didn't happen. And that's okay. As long as I get the miles in, I think I'll hit like 20 today, maybe 18, 20 depends on my route back. Yeah, all of this guys to help end cancer. If you haven't donated to my ride, I would really appreciate it if you would. The link is always in my description box. And I wanna thank all of you who have already donated. I'll give you a shout out uh, in a little bit. I don't have it listed, pulled up on the bike. But I do want to thank you all so much for supporting me in this ride. And I'll show you some of these sights on my way back. Right now I need water. Okay, guys, we're on the trail. It's pretty much like this. The, most of the way, there are some spots where we're out on a road. Or you open up to a field. And coming up, there's some cows. Lots of cows. Because this is Ohio, friends. Ooh, what is that? Yeah. Whew. All right, I'm on my way back. This is why, or one of the reasons why this is such a good ride for me. I have to go right through a cemetery and it reminds me when I'm hot and sweaty why I ride. Too many people die each year from cancer, too many. There's not enough money for research. There's not enough money for cures. So I'm gonna do my part to help. And when I get really tired, and I want to quit, I just remember why I ride. And it helps. I hope it helps you too. Okay, and then we have the farm. <laughs> With these freaking adorable cows that I love. When we come by, the little cows. of the Buckeye Super Country Fest will be going on. Getting ready to rain, it looks like. I'll show you the stage. There's gonna be well over 60,000 people here tonight. Oh, it's slippery. It's gonna be exciting. what that is weird sky today hi I'm back it's been a few days since I made that video riding my bike and I was gonna go ride my bike today but it's gross out it's gonna rain so instead of that today Saturday I decided I had a leaky shower from my knob thingy in my shower so I brought this with me I got the replacement so right now I don't have water at my house so I need to go home and fix that I got some picture hanger velcro thingies for my craft room and then I went I needed to get some floss for a cross stitch so I went to my cross stitch store that's local to me and they only have these two colors which is weeping willow and this roasted chestnut i only had one strand of this floss left and i wasn't sure i should have enough of the rest but we'll see and i got an extra pack of needles i use john james size 26 that's just what i use and then i needed a little kit i think to take with me i don't know i've never done one of these kits before so i got a mill hill and it comes with everything that you need, um, including the beading needle. Yeah, beading needle, regular needle, your floss, all your little beads, which is perfect. So I grabbed that. I thought that would be fun for fall. Even comes with a magnet, so I can stick it on my refrigerator. And then this 
here company it's called the trilogy and it is three designers that came together and created a brand if you will but they're going they're stopping so i wanted to grab this kit which says friends gather and the little birds which i think will be so fun and then um it comes as a kit so you get your fabric which looks like a 32 count yep yeah, 32 count and then you get your floss that you need to stitch it and it was 21 dollars so that's what I got. At, oh, and then I got a magazine, which is somewhere over here. I got a magazine that came out. Yeah. The Halloween Just Cross Stitch magazine. Look at this right here. The cats. I need to stitch that. Ah, uh, don't I? I think it's perfect. Um, I don't get a lot of these magazines, but I do like the seasonal ones. So I don't know if there's, oh yeah, there is. Look at this. Oh, I like this one too. It says Nevermore with the black bird. So I think it's fun. Um, so I grabbed that magazine. So that's what I got at my cross stitching store. This is the floss. My Oh, it's a mess. My floss pack that I took with me to get what I needed and I'm short on a couple colors that they were out of so I'm kind of hoping sorry my floss was falling apart here kind of hoping I have enough to get me through but the one color which was an emergency was the roasted chestnut because I literally have one strand of floss left and that is not enough so we'll see, but I needed floss, so I went and got the colors I needed, but I brought this with, and it's for this project here, which is the Kringles. I have it almost all done. I'm currently working on these two rooms, right here and right here, that's it, and then I need to do the name band. And I don't think I'm gonna have enough of that coffee color, so I need to see if I can find some if I run low. And I don't know what that middle color is, but we'll see. So this is almost done. Like I said, all of it's done except for this room right here, which I just started, and that room. And then the name. So I have until October. Now, um, next door to my cross-stitch store, there is a Cancer Society thrift store. And they always have the best vintage stuff in there. And I'll show you. So I picked up this sugar plums it's a cross stitching and needlepoint book that has some stockings and ornaments in it the one thing about these older vintage books is you don't really know what the finished product looks like you just kind of have to guess um i don't even know oh it has an alphabet one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need an alphabet that's 13 letters tall. That's what I've been hunting for. Um, so there's no pictures of like the finished product in here, but that's okay. I'm trying to see when it was printed. I'm gonna guess in, oh, 1978. I thought the 80s, but look, there's just fun little patterns. So I grabbed that because I love Christmas. I also grabbed this one. Same thing. Look at that Santa. Um, what I don't like is all the back stitching, but I typically just avoid the back stitching. And this is the same. This one is no pictures, but there's finishing ideas, and you just kind of have to guess. But there's little like just pages of patterns. But I thought it would be cute to make some ornaments, maybe some vintage. I'm looking to see what this. I love it that they print right on the paper onto the cover. I know, so interesting. I'm trying to see if there was a a date on here. It's from My Lady's Needle in Worthington, Ohio. But I don't, oh, 1980. So this is from 79 and 80. 
which I think is super fun. A little vintage. And then I got this, which is not old, I don't think. Um, I don't know. But I wanted to stitch that bunny for Easter on a pillow because I think it's super cute. I don't know when the... And these were all half price today. Somebody got rid of all their scrapbooking stuff. There was all kinds of that, but I don't do scrapbooking. Oh, this is older because it's an actual photograph. Like a printed photograph. 1997 Fancy That Patterns is where this is from. And it's just photocopies. But yep, 1997. So we got some vintage patterns. Which I think are fun. Not that I don't have enough to stitch, because I do. All right, and then I'll show you the last thing I got. Oops, let me get this put away. I need to put this away so it doesn't get yucky. But it's always fun. I was actually on the hunt for bat, um, buttons, antique vintage buttons, but I didn't find any. Uh, but I did find this. Now, this is not vintage at all. This is was $48, made in China. No idea where it's from. I don't know, but it's a bowl, right? It's solid wood. This is heavy. You could put a plant, fruit. I am gonna use this. I love it. Look at that. I'm gonna sit it on my coffee table and put my pillows that I cross stitch in here as like a display piece. So I thought that was fun. And it was regularly $15. So regularly it was $48. At the thrift, it was for $15 and I got it for $7.50. So we did that and that's everything um yeah it's getting ready to rain again it's it's just hot and rainy it's humid rainy gross i'm tired i've been working a lot but first things first we're gonna go home and all i have to do is slide the new piece that i pulled out and lock it in place and hopefully my tub stops leaking I don't know what that that white piece is. I think it's to shove it in there. If I had to guess, but I don't know. It just says replacement cartridge. Hopefully, it fits my. I mean, it looks identical to mine, except for a little bit. So we're all hoping. Let's pray. All right, let's go home. <laughs> 